across Central Texas. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Radcliffe and I'm Leslie Draffin. The city of Waco is working to improve mobility across town. It's all part of their active transportation plan and a new grant will help them make some sidewalk improvements. Six News reporter Marie Aguilera has an update on these projects. In the city of Waco, construction seems to be ongoing. Part of that is to fix streets and make it a walk friendly community. We're really making a move to improve uh, pedestrian opportunities. Uh, alternative mobility is identified in our active transportation plan as a priority. Jim Reed, the city of Waco street division manager, says they were recently awarded nearly a million dollars to fix sidewalks along Jefferson Avenue from Sol Ross Skate Park to Indian Spring Middle School. A lot of our sidewalk around Waco generated uh, pre-World War II is unreinforced, is thin slab, it's starting to break apart, and we realize that. Reed says they want to give more people the opportunity to walk, ride a bike or a scooter all over town and not just in the downtown area. We need opportunities to move people from destination to destination, especially around schools or hospitals or areas that are, uh, you know, consumer type activity areas. In 2021, they have $18 million in construction from alternative funding. That means it's from grants, the state or federal government. And the city's active transportation plan gives them guidance on things like where they should consider pedestrian movement. And while Reed is thankful to have been awarded this grant, he says they still have a lot of work to do when it comes to street and sidewalk improvements. Maria Aguilera, 6 News. And city leaders encourage anyone to reach out to them and provide feedback through their Better Streets Waco website about what you want to see in your community.